This is the oldest independent state in the Arab world. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're exploring Oman, nestled on the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. Oman offers unique landscapes and delicious food. Join us and stay to the end to delve deeper into Oman's fascinating history and cultural gems. Oman is located in the Middle East, bordering the Arabian Sea, the Gulf of Oman, and the Persian Gulf between Yemen and the United Arab Emirates. It covers a total area of 309,500 square kilometers and has a varied geography consisting of plains, deserts, and mountains. A large part of Oman consists of plains and deserts. The central desert spans the entire interior of the country. Here you will find vast expanses of sand dunes, gravel plains, and salt flats. The desert climate is extremely arid and hot. Rainfall is scarce in the interior, averaging less than four inches per year. The coastal plains are somewhat more fertile and receive greater rainfall due to the influence of the Indian Ocean monsoon. Date palm groves and grazing lands for cattle and camels can be found in parts of the plains region. The Hajar Mountains run parallel to the coastline of Oman and dominate the landscape in the northern part of the country. This mountain range rises dramatically from the desert floor with peaks soaring to almost 10,000 feet in elevation. The Hajar Mountains capture moisture from the ocean winds, creating fog and rainfall that supports the growth of trees and terraced farming. Wadi valleys cut through the mountains, providing oases with running streams and vegetation. The mountains historically protected Oman's residents and made parts of the interior more habitable. It has around 1,700 miles of coastline along the Arabian Sea and Gulf of Oman. The coastal areas have a hot, humid climate. The coastline is varied, consisting of sandy beaches, lagoons, marshlands, islands and bays. The waters along the coast of Oman Harbour diverse marine life including fish, turtles, dolphins and whales. The coastal regions have traditionally relied on fishing and trade. Some of Oman's main cities and ports are located along the coast. Oman is home to a diverse population made up of various ethnic, religious and linguistic groups. The Omani people trace their roots to tribes that have inhabited the Arabian Peninsula for centuries. Its total population, as of 2022, is roughly 4.5 million, according to World Bank data. The majority of Oman's residents are ethnic Arabs, with centuries of shared history and culture. The largest group is known as Ibadi Muslims, who have a distinct religious tradition within Islam. In addition, Oman has communities of ethnic Baluchis, Zanzibaris, and Persians, with ancestors who migrated at various points in history. While Arabic is the main language spoken, traditional dress, music, and customs vary between Oman's ethnic groups. The official religion of Oman is Ibadi Islam, an Islamic sect distinct from Sunni or Shia Islam. Ibadis make up around 75% of Oman's Muslim population. Sunni Muslims account for the largest minority religious group at around 25% of the total population. Oman is known for its religious tolerance with small communities of Hindus, Christians, Buddhists and others able to openly practice their faiths. Mosques, Hindu temples and Christian churches exist side by side in major cities like Muscat. Arabic is the official language used in schools, government and business. There are numerous Arabic dialects spoken across the regions of Oman. Many Omanis also speak Baluchi, Swahili, Urdu or Persian as second languages. English is widely used in higher education, commerce and tourism. The native minority languages of Kumzari, Batari and Meri are also maintained in parts of Oman. 
Oman has a delicious and distinct cuisine that reflects its location along historic spice trade routes. Rice, fish, meat, dates and herbs are staple ingredients in Omani dishes. These are some highlights of Omani food culture. Shua is a traditional Omani dish made with marinated meat that is slow cooked in an underground oven called a tanur. Lamb is usually used, seasoned with spices like cumin, cloves, cardamom and pepper. The meat becomes extremely tender after cooking for hours buried in the hot sand. Shua is usually served on special occasions. Halwa is a sweet confection popular across the Middle East, but Oman has its own unique version. The main ingredients are sugar, ghee, spices and seeds like sesame, fennel and cardamom. Omani halwa comes in many colorful gelatinous textures and designs. It's labor-intensive to make and is commonly found at festivals and religious celebrations. Kawa refers to Omani coffee, which has an elaborate preparation ritual. The beans are roasted over an open fire and then ground with spices like saffron and cardamom. The coffee is brewed strong in a dala coffee pot and served in tiny handleless cups as a sign of hospitality. Mishkak are Omani skewers of meat, fish or vegetables marinated in a spicy, acidic mixture called madbi. Common proteins are chicken, shrimp or lamb. Mishkak gets its flavor from the madbi marinade made with ingredients like lime juice, garlic, chili, thyme and vinegar. Strategically located along trade routes between Asia and Europe, Oman developed into an important regional power. The ancient period saw Oman populated by nomadic tribes who settled near the coastal oases. Artifacts date human activity in Oman back to the Stone Age. From 3000 to 2000 BC, the Samad Late Stone Age culture flourished through sea trade. The introduction of metal tools marked the beginning of the Iron Age around 2000 BC. Oman adopted Islam during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century AD. In the early 8th century, Oman fell under the control of the Umayyad Caliphate based in Damascus. Over the next centuries, portions of Oman were at times ruled by the Persians and Ottomans. The Portuguese Empire conquered Oman's coastal regions in 1507, controlling important ports and trade routes. The Portuguese built forts to exert their regional domination. However, they faced constant rebellion from Omanis opposed to foreign rule. In 1744, Ahmed bin Said al-Busaidi drove out the Portuguese and established Oman's al-Busaid dynasty. This ruling family continues to hold power today, making it one of the Arab world's oldest dynasties. Under their rule, Oman thrived as a maritime and trading nation connecting Asia, Africa and Europe. Modern Oman emerged in 1970 when Sultan Qaboos bin Said Al Said overthrew his father in a bloodless coup. As Sultan, Qaboos implemented major social and economic reforms while retaining Oman's cultural traditions. Oman continues its development today as a high-income, oil-exporting nation. From ancient civilizations to European colonizers to oil wealth, Oman's strategic location has subjected it to outside influence throughout its long history while maintaining a distinctive Omani culture. The modern Sultanate carries this proud history into the 21st century. Oman has a high-income economy that is heavily dependent on oil exports. However, the Omani government has been actively working to diversify the economy and establish new industries. According to the World Bank, its GDP is roughly $114 billion as of 2022. Oil and gas production accounts for over 70% of Oman's total government revenue. It has proven oil reserves of around 5 billion barrels and established liquefied natural gas facilities. 
Petroleum development Oman and Occidental Petroleum are the largest oil producers. New investments are being made to expand oil production and tap undeveloped reserves. The country is developing new industrial and manufacturing sectors as part of its economic diversification strategy. This includes metals, manufacturing, petrochemicals, ship repair, and other light industries. Major industrial zones can be found near the ports of Sohar and Salalah. The government has provided tax incentives and infrastructure support to grow new industries. Services make up an increasingly important part of Oman's economy. Logistics, transportation, financial services, real estate and tourism are key service sectors. Oman is marketing itself as an upscale tourist destination, showcasing culture, beaches and adventure activities. New airports, hotels and attractions are being built, especially in Muscat. If you enjoyed this video on Oman, you'll love this next one.